The diagram below shows the path xy of an electron that passes through a thin foil placed in a vacuum. There is a uniform magnetic field acting perpendicularly to the plane of the page. Which one of the following statements best explains the path followed by the electron? So, the first question is to find the direction of the motion of the electron from y to x or from x to y. And you can see that there is a difference in curvatures before and after the foil. But the question is, where is before the foil and uh, where is uh, after the foil? And to find out it, you may uh, just imagine a car which is moving on a circular track. And uh, uh, it is uh, turning without uh, skidding. And to do that, if velocity is large, to turn to turn without uh, skidding, uh, it uh, must be moving in a circle with large radius. But when speed is small, a car can turn uh, easily, so it can move in a circle with small radius. With small radius. And here it's absolutely the same. You can see that uh, radius of the circle uh, in here is what? It's uh, much uh, greater than here, and it means what? It is moving with larger speed here, and it is uh, moving with smaller speed here. And what does it mean? It means that it loses a part of its kinetic uh, uh, energy when it uh, passes through the foil and can speed decreases. So since uh, uh, speed decreases when it is moving from x to y, it means it is moving from x to y. Or, or another way. Um, we know that there is the Lorentz force acting on uh, a moving charged particle in a uh, magnetic field and uh, formula is QBB. And this force, it will be centripetal force and is equal to MA and uh, centripetal acceleration is V squared over R, where R is radius. And you can see that uh, V cancels and since charge and magnetic field strengths are constant, it's constant, and, and you can see that if radius increases, V also must be increased to keep uh, this uh, value the same. And you can see that radius is greater. Here it means that the particle is moving in a, in a circle with, uh, in a circular path with greater radius. So radius is greater, uh, greater, so velocity also great, radius smaller, velocity also small. So particle is moving from x to y, from x to y. And, and there is force to the center of uh, this circle, and uh, it's a centripetal force because uh, power, uh, because uh, uh, force is always perpendicular to the velocity vector, so it's a centripetal force. And, and we need the direction of the magnetic field, direction of vector B. And uh, we know that uh, if we need uh, directions, we use, uh, you may use uh, the Fleming's rule. I use uh, the left hand or the right hand palm, palm rule. Uh, how to use it? For wire and the positively charged particle is left hand for uh, negatively charged particle it's uh, the right hand and for all rules four fingers in direction of velocity for wire in direction of current and vector b enters the palm palm it's the inner part of the hand and sum which is at uh, 90 degrees to four fingers uh, shows us the direction of the force so, since it's about electron, we should use the right hand, the right hand. And four fingers in direction, 
of the velocity. Velocity is uh, at uh, tangent to uh, the uh, curve, and force is the sum. The sum. And uh, vector B enters the pump since it's the right hand. B enters the pump, so B is out out of the page to us. Direction is to us. The right hand for pinverse direction of velocity, uh, the sum in, in direction of force, and B vector enters the palm. So, so field is out of the page, out of, of the page, out of the plane of the page. Out. So D is correct. And that's all for this question.